But those are again, you know, pious activities, very nice, good, sukriti, helping somebody, helping the less fortunate. But it's not the same as spiritual. Spiritual means you are going to be out of these difficulties forever. And this is not something people either understand or want on a wholesale basis because they will still work on the Karamkand section if, it, if at all, the demigods, the rituals, the procedures and those are actually divisive in the sense of being exclusive. They exclude people. Whereas healing doesn't exclude anyone. You could be any color, shape, form, religion, who cares? Nobody's bothered. Abhi has a question. Usually when people used to talk, ask about Reiki, we used to talk about it as a practice that heals and helps in life situation. But since we share the knowledge of Krishna, can we tell that Krishna is the source of Reiki as well to people who ask? You can state that Reiki is a Brahma energy and the source of Brahma energy is Krishna. Take it stepwise. Brahma, and the way you explain it is, Brahma means universal life force. This is what Krishna has explained in Bhagavad Gita, universal life force. Reiki means universal life force. There is no difference. The qualities of the energies are the same. Brahma level, so they might understand this. And then you can always throw in that, you know, the source of Brahma energies is Brahma, Paramatma, Bhagavan. It's a tr three steps. That is the final source, they are intermediary sources, all expansions of Bhagavan. So people are not going to go get into this because people are wanting some relief from material problems. Whoever can offer them that best, they will go there. Reiki offers certain limited amount of material relief or a lot depending on the person's individual situation. Beyond that, you have to actually understand the real meaning of Reiki means to uh, be, be a means for you to get back to the <coughs> spiritual world. Actually get back is kind of misleading. It was not that you came down from the spiritual world because once you are in the spiritual world, you don't come down. It's you are on the edge. So then you used to cross over, you need to cross over the edge and go back to the spiritual. Otherwise we are eternal tourists, cycling down, going up, cycling down, going up. In fact, I sent away one of my paintings is that eternal tourist painting. It shows this cycle and on the top right of the painting you will see two pyramids, <coughs> rotating pyramids, silver pyramids. That is actually the divine. So that is our memory of when we came down, how this whole thing happened. And uh, apparently these are also described in other scriptures exactly the same way. So there is some validation of that experience. So these are the kind of things that will uh, that you will come across in life and you will get some guidance from it or not, depends on you. <laughs>